Hey everybody, wanted to do a quick, uh, quick comparison here, and uh, yeah, this is not scientific by any stretch, so I don't want to hear about, uh, you know, it's not scientific, but reality check, this head of lettuce has been in this grow bed for over two months, almost, I want to say almost three months, and if you look at it, it's uh, it's alive, it's healthy, it's growing, but it's it's tiny. Now, comparison. Over here, we have the deep water culture. Now, in the deep water culture, I do have an air stone. So, that is oxygenating the whole thing. But look at this head of lettuce. You know, I have already picked... Now, I pick from the bottom, from this head of lettuce. Look at this head of lettuce. It's not the only one. I've got this one and that one. All three of these have been in this system less than four weeks. And just another comparison, because we're not talking only lettuce. This celery. This has been in here for the same length of time, about three and a half, not quite four weeks. Both of these celeries. And, now let me open up this. One second. Okay, I got a better angle. This, this is a better angle. Peeled back the shade cloth so we can see what's happening here. All right. These two stalks of celery, these two celeries, okay. That they're just, this is less than four weeks. Lettuce, lettuce, lettuce. These three heads of lettuce, less than four weeks. Another, this, two weeks. This, two weeks. These were seed two weeks ago. This head of celery. This now, to be fair, this one and that one have been in the same amount of time. They don't look so good. But then this one looks fantastic. This, this one here, when you compare, and here's the thing, compare. This is three and a half weeks here. That's two weeks. All right? But... This celery here, uh, I got a bad one. This celery here has been in the media bed about 12 weeks. I put the seeds in. These were seeds I started at the very, very beginning. When I planted everything else, I planted these seeds. So comparatively, and, and it's not just that. There's an example, the beet. All right, you see that beet there. Look at the greens. Unbelievable. This one, same thing. Now, in fairness, this one's been in the same amount of time. It doesn't look so good. All right. But, less than four weeks. Now, look at this beet. This one, I planted these seeds the same time I planted those, the others. Now, fairness, this one did have some kind of moth decide to grow in it. It was a big pain. I had to kill them. We had several of them in here. Took care of it. Now it's coming back and it looks good. But we're looking at the, the difference. Here's another bee. Amazing the difference between the deep water culture and the media bed. Now I'm really, you know, when I first started doing research, I couldn't believe people were growing so much stuff in water. I thought eh, it seemed a little crazy, but man, it's, it's just. How can you argue with the results? You can go back and look at the original video, my very first video, that was less than four weeks ago. All of these plants 
were this big. Teeny tiny little plants. They look like this. Now you guys watched me plant this in here. You watched me plant this in here four days ago. Look at the difference. Four days. If you go back to my very first video that was less than four weeks ago, all of these look like that. Everything was very, very tiny. Now, in all fairness, not everything is boomed. I got this celery here, a couple weeks old. Doesn't look so good, but this one, same age, it is gone crazy. This one, same thing. Not, it's better than that one. It's about the same age. But uh, I think that by if I were to add another, run another air stone deeper in here, it, it would make a difference. All right, biggest problem I have is this. This is my air pump. I got two. It is not very powerful. It's a Marina 200. It works for what it it works for what it does. It's a small air pump. I've got two stones. I've got one goes into the fish. And you see the fish get their oxygen from this one. And the other one goes over here to the deep water culture. And it does help with this. With this, uh, I have a feeling that were this not to be, would were I not to have an airstone in here, I would have. Uh, I would not have the growth I have. However, uh, I do need to replace with a significantly larger pump. I need to get one of these air stones. I need to double the air stones in the deep water culture, and I need to put a, be able to run an air stone into the biofilter when that when I'm done with that. But the I got to tell you, I'm surprisingly really amazed with the difference in growth. All right. Okay, one more thing. I have been doing a hard prune on all my pepper plants. Okay, if you look, you see the new growth, all this new growth here. This one I just pruned. And this one is not ready to be pruned yet. Um, I got this from Alberta, Alberta Gardens. Uh, I'm not sure the exact name of the channel. I'll put a link to the video in, in the description. But uh, once you see buds forming, he says to prune it to the first true leaves and it'll give you more fruit in the end. And uh, to give you guys an example, I'll show you the difference. Okay, this pepper I did not prune. We just let it grow. I even had to stake it. And we're getting a couple peppers in it, too. and you know, it'll be useful. But, this one. I hard pruned this. Yeah, I hard pruned this one. And if you look, we're already got buds. We've got buds on this. And it's significantly bigger more productive and sturdier, the stem is even sturdier, than that one. And uh, it, it appears to be making a significant difference. So I have been pruning all of the peppers, hard pruning them. Here's another example of hard pruning. All right get the chives out of the way. Look at all the new growth around that. As soon as we've got, look at all the new growth coming in. As soon as you prune that, you snip that, it forces it to, for, it causes it to grow in all different directions. Now this one I have not pruned yet, but I don't have any buds on it. There are no buds here. And with no buds, there's no reason to prune it. As soon as I see buds, I will come in and 
cut it. Anyway, I just wanted to give you a quick comparison. Media bed versus deep water culture. Now, again, this is 15 inches of water. This is not the standard, you know, everyone says 12 inches. Okay, yeah, 12 inches is fine. I did 15 because it's just so damn hot here. And the more water, the better chance of keeping the temperature. And um, I've been, these, I put just a few of these mosquito fish in. I don't know if you can see, but look at all the little babies. I've got dozens of babies. And uh, these guys, they have a purpose. Their purpose is to keep the mosquito population under control. And, uh, you know, it's hard to say if they have or have not, but I barely feed these guys. And the only reason there's food in here now is because I'm trying to catch the five tilapia that are left in this tank. Um, because I'm trying to grow the duckweed, and the problem is, you see how much duckweed is in here? That's because as soon as I leave, the tilapia come in and they scarf down all the duckweed. So who knows what they're doing to the root systems of these plants. So I need to get rid of them. And I'm almost to the stage where I'm going to drain this drain this thing completely until I catch them. I just don't feel like wasting 100 and plus, 100 plus gallons of beautifully well nutrified water. But if it gets down to it, that's what I will do. All right, everybody, that's a quick update, deep water culture versus media beds. Everybody, God bless, be safe.